In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create a barrel shape spring. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I'm going to be using version 2.80. Now at present this is still the beta version, so some things may change. Um, and I've also aimed this at sort of novice level, so apologies if you know a bit more than a complete beginner. Anyway, I'm going to just hit return to remove the banner. Now if you place your pointer over the cube, right click on the cube, left click delete, this will remove the cube. I'm going to go into front view, so to do that, uh, sorry, top view to do this, just come to the top left of the screen, left click on view, and next to the viewpoint, left click on top. Now, to anybody who's new to Blender, I would advise you start making note of some of the shortcuts. So normally if I was going to go into top view, I would press, press 7 on my numbers pad, and front would be 1, but anyway, for now, just left click on top view. We're going to add a plane. And to do this, to the top of the screen again, left click on add, then next to mesh, left click on plane. Now to zoom in and out of your view, you can roll your middle mouse. So just roll your middle mouse to get a reasonable size view of the plane. And again, to the top left of the screen, where it says Object Mode, left click on this, and left click Edit Mode. Place your pointer in the very corner of the plane, and left click, so you select just one vertice. Come back up to the top of the screen, left click on Edit Mode, and left click Object Mode. Now I'm going to go into front view. So again, come up to the screen, up to the top of the screen here, left click on view, viewpoint, and then front view. Roll your middle mouse to zoom out. And what we want to do is to the right of the screen, look for the little wrench. It says modifiers. Left click on this. Then left click add modifier. And then left click screw. Now, because we're making a barrel shape, the longer the um, shape that you create by screwing the vertices, the less barrel shaped it will be. So, I'm going to just give you a sort of a guideline to how to make this. So in the box that says screw, there's a little arrow to the right. Left click on this a couple of times, so it says something like 0.2. And in the iterations box, left click on it on the little arrow again till you've got something like you can type in a number here as well so I'm going to just do uh, 20 iterations and point 0.2 now the higher this um, is compared with the base the less barrel like it will be it'll tend to be very straight and then barrel shaped which is what you might want this is something you can play with the only other thing I would do in the box it says steps 16 I'll just left click and type in 32 and again um, in the render steps I'll type in 32 so if, you, if you're doing this the way I've done it you've got point 0.2 in the screw box iterations 20 steps 32 render steps 32 and the angle should be 360 degrees now left click on apply I'm going to just centre this up a bit. Now to do this, just hold down your shift button and then your middle mouse button and then you can drag your view around the screen and I'll zoom in a bit as well. OK. Top left of the screen again, object mode, left click on this. Then left click edit mode. And what you should find is that you've only got one coil of vertices selected. So if you come up to select, left click on this, and again we're making a note of some of the shortcuts, you've got something called invert. Now you can press Control I or left click invert. Place your pointer over your object, right click on it, 
then look for delete vertices and left click and you should have if you go back to select and then left click on all or press A you should have a coil so let's go back into object mode edit mode sorry and then back to object mode now we want to convert this into something ed edit editable um, um, we're going to create what they call a curve out of it so to do this left click on object and then you've got something here called convert to so left click cur curve from mesh text ok now we're going to add a circle so come back up to add left click on this and next to curve left click on circle now if you left click in the little box where it says add Bezier circle little arrow sorry first thing we want to do is to be able to see the circle so next to align to view left click in the little box place your pointer over the X location box hold down your left mouse button and just drag this so it's clear of your coil then you can left click on the little arrow to hide this tab ok left click on your coil and what you're looking for underneath the wrench is something called object data left click on this left click geometry that's the geometry the little arrow and what we're looking for is the bevel box left click in the box next to object then left click Bezier circle and this will happen now the other thing we want to do is fill the ends because they'll be open so under the object box is something called fill caps left click on this as well so it'll fill the ends now left click on your circle now this is a game where shortcuts come in handy rather than changing it down this end if you just press S, S for sugar on your keyboard you can reduce the size of your circle and keep reducing it till you get a sensible size now to the very top um, left of the screen you'll see a box that says scale so I'm going to take this down to something like I don't know it says 0 0.085 so that will do this is just a guideline how to make a spring even ok left click on your coil and then to the top left of the screen again left click object mode then go into edit mode ok now we can start changing the shape of this coil left click on curve top of the screen again and next to transform you've got something called to sphere now if you move your mouse you can start creating a barrel shape so again top left of the screen let's go for something like 0 0.6, 0 0.65 doesn't have to be accurate I've, mine says 0 0.6570 and then left click now obviously this has closed the gaps up at this top and bottom end now if you know your shortcuts you can just shortcut your um, your resizing but if you're not too sure there's a little tab here it says scale left click on this sorry left click on this make sure that the arrow comes up now if you place your pointer over the blue arrow hold down your left mouse button you can drag this until your spring looks reasonably sensible okay and again the size top left scale that says 1.52 something and that will do come back to edit mode left click then object mode
Now all you need to do is go back to object at the top, convert to and this time mesh from curve meta surf text. Right click on your uh, spring or your coil and then left click smooth shading. Finally if you want you can just left click on your circle then right click and then left click delete and you've created a very simple coil shape spring that is barrel in size. I'm not going to go into placing any materials on this or um, rendering. This is just a very quick and simple um, tutorial of how to make a spring that isn't just straight up and down. So hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.